Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Crystal and my Mono Water Run. I have to admit, I'm not entirely confident in my team here just yet, because I don't have any really good moves for, you know, dealing with Faulkner just yet. I don't learn, you know, Water Gun to level 13 on either Totodile or Poliwag, which means I'm going to have to basically rely on, you know, Rage to get by and some sleep moves. Because we do have Hypnosis, so that's always an option. For now, I think we'll try and power up Killer Croc here by raging against the machine. Hopefully my rage is stronger than Sparrow's peck attack. Of course, rage does get more powerful as you use it, so there is that to consider. Though, Sparrow can peck the ever-loving crap out of me since it's, you know, fast enough to do it, so there is that to consider too. Well, it is true. Get over it. I'm probably going to have to heal up after this. Maybe I should start off with Poliwag so I can drop a Hypnosis. Hopefully get that working and then switch into Totodile, but... Oh well. <laughs> I didn't think ahead here, so I'm going to pay for it by having to retreat back to the Pokemon Center for a little healing after this battle, I'm sure. Though at least this Pidgey doesn't know any you know, flying moves it can get a boost on, really. And Tackle is usually a lot less damaging than Peck anyway. Come on. Build my rage up even more with your attacks. Make me even more powerful. Of course, the problem with rage is I think it only activates if you get hit. <laughs> oh, well, I should be able to hopefully overwhelm this other Pidgey, right? Yeah, hit him with your rage, Totodile. Let him feel it. Of course, Faulkner is not going to be as easy to deal with. Because his Pidgey knows Mud Slap, so while I'm raging, it's going to lower my um, ability to hit it. Doesn't matter how powerful I am, you know, if I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. But first things first, we should go heal up. It's best to fight Faulkner you know, at full strength. And I'm probably going to want to switch out leads. I'm going to try and put to sleep his starting Pidgey. Then switch into Totodile and start, you know, attacking it. And try and take it out so I can then prepare for, hopefully, Pidgeotto. This is probably going to be a bit closer than I like, somewhat. I like close wins sometimes, but here it's going to feel like a close battle because I don't have many strategic options really available to me just yet because it's so early. Okay. We'll put Bullfrog up front. I sort of wish I could turn into a Politoed, but I don't have any real way to do that. Well, let's take on Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. Oh, they ain't wrong, man. It's pretty hard to get a flying team past electric gym leaders, trust me. It's a nightmare. Not unless you have some sort of good counter, like a ground flying type or something. Then you can sort of just drive them nuts. But you don't packing, you know a crowned flying Pokemon. One does exist in this game, in fact, but he doesn't have it. Oh yeah. I would use Bubble here, but Bubble's so freaking weak, it's pathetic. Hopefully I can drop this thing, you know, before it wakes back up. If not, this is gonna get interesting. Potentially. Great. But I don't have any real power behind because I haven't been hit yet. So let's scratch. Oh, and with tackle? Well, that's good. I was afraid to go for mud slap. But instead, he's just tackling me. Odd choice, to be honest. It would have made more sense to drop my accuracy with Mud Slap than, you know, tackling me. Sure, ground attacks aren't going to do a lot of damage, but that's not the point of Mud Slap. It's to lower your opponent's accuracy. It doesn't matter how, you know, powerful I am if I couldn't touch you. Well, if you want to make my life easier, I'm all for it, Faulkner. Go, go right ahead. I mean, you're building my rage right now, so probably gonna drop Pidgeotto, you know, in one more hit. 
This went a lot better than I thought it would. I was so worried about Mud Slap, and he didn't even use it. <sighs> That's just disappointing. I thought you were a bit more strategic in your planning, Faulkner. I've really overestimated you. Darn. Gave you way too much credit. Yep, and I could give Totodile a Mud Slap if I want to, I'm pretty sure, but... It seems like a bit of a waste right now. I don't really need to. Yeah, I'll take Mud Slap off your hands. I'm sure I can put it to use at some point. Give it to someone that can make use of it. Yeah, I wish I could buy more copies of this to a certain extent. But mostly defensive. Sure, you can use it offensively if you want, and I have done that in the past, but it's not a very good move to use offensively. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll come pick up the egg at the Pokemon Center. There's no reason not to pick up the egg. Well, after this, I suppose, on the episode, because I'm probably going to have to do a bit more, you know, when the um, silver one is. I'm going to have to go pick up Unknown. Because I'm going to have to get, you know, my first Psychic Pokemon. Then I'm going to have to stop to train it for a bit, because Unknown is so worthless. I'm going to have to basically get them all much higher up in level, if not catch a whole team of them. Oh, yeah. I need to talk to you for the egg, too. Yes, I know what his favor is, and I'll take this egg gladly off your hands. If only because it's someone expected me to take the egg, I imagine. Because no one else in the lab uses Pokemon? That's a bit weird, ain't it? Or am I the only one that actually travels anywhere and the rest of the NPCs just stand still all day? Because they can't move. Except that one egg that walks a whole couple steps. But yeah. Next time, we'll be on Route 32. Until then, see ya.